I have to say a big thanks to Wicked Lasers for sponsoring me one of their strongest lasers. I highly recommend checking them out. Hello everyone, welcome back. What do we have today? This is the world's strongest hand laser. I got it sponsored from uh, Arctic Lasers. I will put a link in the description. And I wondered, could we make uh, popcorn with this laser? So that's the experiment for today. Because this laser is so strong, it's, it's supposed to be the strongest in the world. You always need to wear protective UV glasses because if you look in the laser when it's on, you're blind immediately and you will never see again. So if you do, always make sure to use this one. I also got a set sponsored with different lenses. The one I have on here is the, the focusing one. So that is a beam that crosses like this and it is a really strong focus point. That's, that's the one that we will use today, together with the normal lens, to see the results. We give you a little demonstration on how strong it is. Let's make a balloon. We're gonna pop it with a laser. Okay, so it's on high power, on the off now, in three. Two, one, see, it pops immediately. And now let's get into the actual test. Let's put that here. Open the mouth. Oh, I got a couple of wires here. So the laser is still on high power. We're gonna focus it on the mark. So with this focusing lens, I'm not able to pop it because I think it's too hot and it burns instead of uh, boiling the moisture inside. Because the way a um, popcorn pops is the moisture inside gets to around 450 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, then the water uh, turns into steam. And then it pops inside out and that's how you make popcorn so i think we use, should use the normal lens maybe a bit less power and maybe that will succeed so let's screw off this means we have no lens but that's also good as the, the focus point will be the same with the normal lens Even though the laser is strong enough to burn it, it is too hot to pop it. Because what happens, instead of um, heating the moisture up, it immediately burns and that doesn't create the, the conditioning to need, it, to need to pop the mice, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Sorry for my bad English. So that was the experiment for today. I hope you enjoyed it, even though we were not able to pop uh, a mice, we still had a successful experiment because now we know the laser cannot pop a mice. 
If you like the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and I see you next time.